What's up, my gorgeous chiquiri? Welcome to today's diary entry. I'm Valeria Alicia. Today, I'm actually bringing you my July favorites. And it's funny because the last time I did a favorites, which was my one and only favorites I did, was last July. So, <laughs> no big deal. I asked you guys on, on Snapchat what you guys wanted to see next, which if you don't follow me on Snapchat, you totally should. I'll leave it for you right here. Um, I asked you guys what you guys wanted to see next and so many of you replied with July's favorites. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay, so let's start with face. This is the Photo Finishing Primer by Smashbox. And as you can see, I'm almost done with this. I love this to put on before I put on my foundation and after I put on my foundation, especially right before I put on my highlight. And this is a trick they showed me at the Artist Couture um, booth by Mac Daddy. Um, they were like, just make sure you put your setting spray first, wait for it to dry a little bit, and then go in with your highlight. And oh my gosh, I'm telling you, it makes such a huge difference. It is amazing. And this primer water, the mister, is just perfection. So as you can see, I think it's time for another one. Next is the Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D. And as you can see, I've already hit pan on this shade, and I believe it's pronounced Iric. I'll spell it for you right here because I have no idea how you say that. But these two are definitely my favorite. Sometimes I like to mix this one, this one, and this one to set my under eye. But for sure, this one is my favorite to set my under eye concealer. Especially on days that your my dark circles are on fleek. You know, I need to bring them down a notch. This is definitely the shade I go for every time. It's just so simple and easy. That way I don't have to mess with powders, which don't get me wrong. I love powders, the uh, loose powders I mean. Loose powders are the best. But whenever I'm in a hurry or I'm getting ready for work and there is no time to mess around with loose powders because they're a little messy at times, this is the way to go and I absolutely love it. And this shade right here is perfection is what I'm wearing right now to bronze and it's just so finely milled, so easy to blend. They're amazing. So this next thing I have to show you, you guys are gonna think, where the heck have you been? This has been around for such a long time and you are just now discovering it. Yeah, I know I'm a little late to the bandwagon, but this is the um, Mineralized Skin Finish um, by MAC powder and I'm in the shade medium plus and this is what it looks like right here sometimes I like to use this if I'm in a hurry and there is no time to use a different powder to set my under eye and then my face sometimes I like to set my face not every time but when I do I go for this especially if I'm in a hurry to set everything my under eyes my eyes and my face this is what I use it looks so much lighter on camera huh you guys are probably thinking that is too light for you Valerie what the heck and it's not, I swear, I don't know why, it's probably the light is shining so bright on it. It's not that light, I swear. So up next is the Jaclyn Hill Face Palette with Becca Cosmetics. I'm obsessed, you guys. This palette is just beautiful. I haven't taken this out <laughs> because I think it keeps it clean and I'm so messy with my powders. I don't want to get the mirror dirty, especially when I travel, which is happening real soon again. So that's why I've kept the cover on it. But Look at these shades, you guys. I'm wearing this one today and Prosecco Pop, which is this one right here. Oh my gosh. They blend like a dream. And I just I just really, really love this palette. I still haven't used this one. I tapped my, um, my brush into it, but I found it to be a little too bright. So that's the only shade that I'm like, eh, use with caution because seriously, just like dip your brush into it like, and then go in to put on your blush because anymore and you're probably gonna look like a clown. But anywho, how gorgeous is this palette? It's just perfection, it's so beautiful and classic. I just really like how they did this. So Jaclyn Hill, girl, you're killing it with this palette. Let's move on to brushes. So I have three brushes to share with you and the first one is one that I actually hauled when I went to Fame Expo and that is the Morphe 310. Oh my goodness, I've been using nothing but this brush to put on my highlight and I gotta tell you, I can tell a difference when I use it and when I use a different brush. I'm obsessed with how it deposits the highlight, it's just perfection, it doesn't give you too much, it just blends it like a dream. 
So I, I really like this brush and it's so affordable you guys. I really like it. Speaking of Morphe, the next one is the M523 brush and this one I think made it to Jaclyn Hill's favorite, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it did. I got this one when I went to the Morphe store back in January when I went to Generation Beauty in California and I, I don't know why. It took me so long to actually fully put it into good use and I love how it puts my... Um, I, use, I like to use it to put on my bronzer and to contour with. It's just so multifunctional, it is well packed, and I just really like how it blends. And the bristles are just so soft, so it is a really great buy and I'm so glad I got it. Next is a brush that I didn't think I was going to love this much, and it is the Hakuhodu Sephora Katsubu brush and this is what it looks like and as you can see <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't clean any of these brushes but I just wanted to show you guys <laughs> what they look like because I use them so much but I love using this to set my under eye especially with my shade and light uh, palette I love to dip it into these shades and set my under eye oh my gosh this brush is just so good I used to love the um, remember what it's called the F34 don't quote me but it's a Sigma one and don't get me wrong I still love it but this one has taken its place forever I think I've been using this month this um, brush for about three months now and have not used this Sigma one and I used to that was my ride or die I absolutely love it and I still do but this one has taken its place because it's just so amazing it just gets right up in the inner corner and just deposits that um, powder just flawlessly and I really love it. This next product I actually mentioned in my Fame Expo haul and you guys I cannot stop using it for when I'm using falsies. This duo brush on adhesive dark and it's actually a brush. It's not just like the squeezy tube. It's actually a brush. Do you guys see that? I am obsessed. It is so good and I don't need to wait for my um, my glue to get tacky. I can just literally just put it on and uh, attach my lash real quick and it is just incredible. I really love this one. You guys should totally give it a go. You need this in your life. If you're having issues with getting your glue to get tacky and working for you, this is amazing. Up next is the Makeup Forever um, HD Stick Foundation. I didn't think I was going to love this as much as I do, but I am obsessed. It is just so simple. I love it for especially my work days. This thing is just incredible. Um, super easy and simple to put on and blend in. I just, I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed, you guys. I can't put it down. I'm actually wearing it right now and it's just, it's just amazing. The Naked Skin by Urban Decay Concealer. I am actually shocked at how long I waited to try this, but it has quickly become one of my top favorites and I cannot stop using it. The applicator for it, it is so amazing. I love how it applies it. It doesn't give you too much, but it gives you enough to actually like work with and um, it just doesn't make it, it's just so simple. It's not messy and I love the formula because it blends like a dream. I would highly recommend picking it up if you're having trouble finding a really great concealer. It is just to die for. So I've been having trouble with my um, dark circles under my eye recently because I've been not getting too much sleep lately and that is my fault. I get it. It's entirely my fault. That's something I need to work on. But I've been using this Eye Duty Triple Remedy by uh, First Aid Beauty and let me tell you, I can tell the difference when I use this puppy and when I don't use it. It is amazing it is so great it brightens up your under eye like a dream and it makes it so that your concealer actually glides on very smoothly and it just gives you that little extra something so that it boosts your um, it brightens your under eye actually so I really really love it and the applicator is just amazing so it's metal so it feels really cooling when you're putting it on I'm trying to open it there we go so it's very it feels just very cooling and refreshing when you're putting it on early in the morning especially like me because I have to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and girl it is hard <laughs> okay so let's move on to lips first one I want to shout out is these dose of colors brick 
Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at this color. It is just so beautiful. And the formula for these is just incredible. I really am impressed at how great this color looks because I feel like dark reds are kind of hard to work with and this is just perfection. I love um, how it stays. I, when you reapply it, it doesn't get all clumpy. It glides on very smoothly and that is a big deal to me. So I really, not I love not just the color but the formula is incredible. I have four of these and I love the formula on all of them. Kat Von D's Lolita. I know you guys are thinking but it's not fall yet. Girl, it doesn't matter what season it is. I absolutely love this color and I cannot believe how good this color is. I just, I'm obsessed with the color actually. I don't think it matters what season it is for me. I wear it all year long, girl. This is just so beautiful. I love the rosy mauve that it is and I don't think I have any other color like it and the formula for this um, lip liquid lipstick is just, perfection so I really love it it stays in my purse the travel version of this stays in my purse too so I'm obsessed okay this Lorac lipstick in goddess I was wearing this on my snapchat recently and I think I don't think I wore it for my video so I was wearing it on my snapchat recently and I got so many of you guys asking me what color do you have on your lips and it was actually goddess and I've been using it recently and I love the way it looks with just any um, simple look. It just gives you that little extra something so that you look fully pulled together even though you skip so many steps, you know what I'm saying? So if you skip doing your eyes, you put this little pop of color and it just makes you look like you actually put in the effort to um, put on makeup. So, and I really, really love the purpley shade. It's just really pretty. And they're just very buttery and creamy and I just really love the formula in these two. I have two more of these and they're really good. I don't think that they get enough credit here on social media as they should. Two more things, two more things. First is this NYX Butter Lip Gloss in Cupcake. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, on days I'm in a hurry and I have no time to put on lipstick because sometimes ain't nobody got time for that, <laughs> especially when I'm at work. I've been um, gravitating towards these butter lip glosses and I gotta tell you, this one is just perfect because I love how it's bright but it's not too much. Let me see where I can swatch it so you guys can see. So it looks like a lot there but I promise you when you put it on, I think it's because of the color of your lips that it just takes it and it's, it's just really pretty. It just makes you look like like spring is happening outside. It's just so pretty. I really love this color. And last but not least is this uh, Lipso Lip Balm. And let me tell you something. Watch this, you guys. So this is how you put it up. <laughs> There's nothing in there. I have to go get another one because I use the heck out of it. I'm obsessed with this one. It just it doesn't leave your lips feeling waxy, it doesn't dry them up, it actually leaves them smooth. I really love um, this lip balm and I know it's a little pricey for a lip balm, I think it's like $3.50 or something like that at the drugstore, but I promise you it's worth every single penny. It's so good! So that is all for my July favorites. Thank you so much for tuning into today's diary entry, my TVDs, and I will catch you on my next one. Un besote! Bye! Just watch.